What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Trey. Before we get into anything, bro, I need y'all to like this video and subscribe. Help your boy out. Show some love. Let's go. So, what's going on, y'all? Y'all see the title, bro. Today, we're going to be talking about my 2016 Q50, how much I paid for it, how much does it cost to basically maintain this car, the gas, what you would be looking at for insurance if you're around my age. I'm 20. All that information, bro, is going to be in today's video, bro. So let's talk about it. First, let me tell y'all how I even bought this car. So basically, a few months ago, uh, I flipped cars, and I have been wanting to get into trying to flip a Q50 for quite a while. And I have friends and family that what they do is kind of go on Facebook Marketplace or car gurus, and they kind of look for cars that are undervalued, and they purchase them. They drive them for free for a little while and then resell them. But I knew that there was better and cheaper ways to do it. So fast forward a few months later, I actually ended up picking this car up on Copart. If you guys don't know much about Copart, Copart is basically a website that sells wrecked vehicles. Uh, I have so much information already out about that. So if you guys want more information, bro, go check out my other videos. Uh, I'll link some in this one in the description. But let's keep going. And before you click off, bro, hear me out on all the numbers because it's going to blow your mind when you hear how much I paid for this car and how realistic it is for you to go and grab one of these cars, twin turbo, 350 something horsepower, and how you could buy one literally for under 10K. So first thing, how much I paid for the car. I paid $6,500 for this car at the auction. And fast forwarding through all the body work, shipping, taxes, all that stuff, I'm invested $10,500 completely into this car. Yes, $10,500 completely into a 2016 Q50 twin turbo, 350 horsepower. You hear me, bro. List goes on and on. This car is an absolute beast. So let's talk about maintenance on this car. Um, these cars are really reliable, bro. You just do basic maintenance and this car will last you 250,000 miles all day. So I'm not gonna include that into the cost of the vehicle because you're gonna have to do that in any vehicle no matter what. Just because it's an infinity does not mean it's gonna cost you more to own this car because it doesn't, bro. Okay, yeah, with the insurance, yeah, just a little bit. But as far as the basic stuff, flushing your coolant, uh, oil changes stuff like that, bro. It's gonna be good. Don't take your car to the dealership I don't care what you drive never take your car to a dealership The only big thing to talk about bro is insurance with this car So I do have full coverage on this car and full coverage on this car is about $300 So that's the thing bro when you're thinking about buying some of these nicer or newer cars is you need to think about your insurance um, Like I said, this car wasn't an accident. This car is a rebuild title I know a lot of times people think that just because it's rebuilt it's gonna cost more but at least in my personal experience, I use Root Insurance. Uh, for my age, they are the cheapest one by a lot that I could find. And whether I have a clean title or rebuild title, I've never experienced a difference in the price. At least I haven't. But yeah, I paid $300 for full coverage on this car. Uh, if you just wanted liability, because technically this car is paid off, it's only about $150, which is not bad, bro, when you're thinking about the overall cost of this car. Now, if you had a car note, you would have to include that. If you wanted to get into one of these clean titles, right now you're gonna be spending about 20 to maybe twenty four thousand dollars so it let's assume you did not put no money down your car note is probably still gonna be about let's say like 300 maybe 300 to 400 depending on like what your interest rate is so if you had to include insurance let's just say 300 for full coverage if you have a car note you always have to have full coverage if you had full coverage plus a three hundred dollar car note you would be paying about six hundred dollars for this car not including the gas this car does take premium gas. So on average, it cost me about 60 to $70 a tank to fill this car up. Like I'm not complaining, like I said, because uh, it lasts me about a week and a half. Um, I drive it pretty responsibly. I punch it when I need to. But if I had a car note, plus uh, the insurance, plus the gas, you would probably be spending about $1,000 a month to drive a car like this. And is that worth it? I don't personally think so. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, bro, I promise you just wait it out. Uh, I have so much footage out there on how to get one of these cash for under $10,000. And that is huge, bro, to be able to go buy a Q50 
twin turbo v6 engine all that beautiful stuff for under 10 grand is a huge killer deal and i think right now you can really get into one of these super cheap and people are still willing to pay more if you ever want to sell it so that's going to be it for today y'all if you guys could bro show some love like subscribe your boy is trying to help y'all get into the car that you want to be into for the cheapest price possible so you're not out here getting finesse and so you're not slave to a car note so if you could bro show some love like subscribe comment all those beautiful things i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.